Hey, what's up, YouTubers? This is Dan Strong with Excel VBA is Fun, bringing another awesome uh, lesson at you today. Um, previously, we've talked about doing the count function using count and count a. Uh, we talked about that. We talked about using count if, and we have two nifty user forms so far. Today, we're going to make another one right in front of you before your eyes. So. Um, what we're going to do, we're going to talk about the count ifs. There's an s at the end, count ifs. So I'm going to type a little thing here. What is count ifs? Count ifs with an s. And we're going to talk about that. What is that? That is uh, how many of uh, um, using multiple criteria. Is it criteria or criterion? Whatever. I'll put that on there and I can fix it later. So we're gonna we're gonna do an example here equals count ifs and we'll hit tab. Now right off the bat the little preview thing says that you need criteria range one and you need criteria one. And then after you hit comma after that you can enter several more criteria if you want to. So I'm gonna actually I'm gonna hit escape. What I've done uh, previously is I have energy list that's your this is a lift list of vegetables and their properties so this energy list is this range right here with the energies for each respective vegetable so it's got their like uh, 29 K Cal whatever that is some kind of energy unit 23 for that beets um, and beets is 43 so a lot of energy I guess from beets um, and then there's a percentage of water so I'm going here's what we want to find out today we want to know how many of these vegetables not only have 90 um, let's say 90 or above okay to make it easy because I'm looking here and I'm seeing let's say it has to be 90 percent water or above and it has to have what's a good number here it has to have at least 20 of the kcal energy things so if we want to do the count of multiples, that's where the S plural comes in, and we're going to do a count if equals, oh, that's that's the whole thing. I need to name this range. The percent water, we're going to control shift down. We'll name this PERC water, perk water. Okay, so now we have perk water and energy list. So we got our two uh, things here. Whoops perk water. Here we go. So now we can use those instead of selecting the range or typing the range. Equals count ifs. So the first criteria I want to use is the new one. Perk water is right down here. I'll double click. And comma. Now what's the criteria? So we said that we wanted the percent water to be, so put in quotes, um, greater than or equal to 90 end quote that's our criteria so you hit a comma now what is it want it wants the criteria two or criteria range two so what's the other range we wanted to use I think we wanted to use the uh, energy one so let's type in energy list here it is so I can hit tab or I can double click I'll hit tab and use a comma now it's got the criteria two so what's the criteria for the energy stuff how about greater than or equal to we said uh, 20 units of energy and uh, I don't think we want to do anything else with that we could use we could use the same one and do something else or we could use another range and another range we could even use the vegetable chart range and then for the criteria maybe say carrots and so it only analyze let's assuming we had a lot of entries that were that said carrots we could narrow it down to only look at the ones that say carrots and then furthermore look at the ones that have 90 or uh, above percentage of water and it would only narrow it down to the ones that have greater than or equal to 20 units of energy so you if you had like a million entries here it would count only those specific ones and you can have so many different um, uh, ranges and, and things on there. So it's unreal. So you can use text features. You can use um, numerical. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. We're going to show you this. This is count ifs. So there are 20 entries that have not only uh, have 90 or more 
a percentage of water, but they also have 20 or more uh, energy. Let's up the ante a little bit. So um, what we'll do is we'll make a user form. Let's go ahead and get started, Alt F11. We're going to go to, uh, we already have user form 1 and 2. We're going to go here and do user form 3. We just did a new user form. So we're kind of going to copy some features from user form 2. So I'm going to cheat. Yes, I said it. I'm going to cheat. I'm going to um, uh, copy all this junk here. Control C and control V. Let's expand this because it will not fit currently. Um, scoochy scooch, scoochy scooch. Okay, that looks pretty good. And we'll scooch that out a little bit. All right, so we've copied some of the the thing. You know, this it still has the same name. This has the same name. Same some of the same features. Let's double. Let's look in user form two view code. So we have a few features already set up. Let's copy all this code and go to user form 3 right click view code and paste so now if we open up user form 3 it'll actually have the same features and facets that the other one will now we can just tweak the code so we're doing count ifs with an s so we have multiple criteria we're gonna have energy which was what this one was I think and now we're gonna add one called percent water so we can tweak that and then we can get the answer to how many have those multiple facets <clears throat> right here and we'll take off the text thing because I don't think we want to add that right now so we're going to learn how to use the count ifs in VBA so uh, also remember that you can download this workbook and play along or play around with it rather uh, all you want to your heart's content because this is a free download so just click on the link in my video description this workbook is called count count a count if count ifs in VBA. This is, should be the last segment of our series on the count functions in Visual Basic. And it comes with three nifty user forms. We're making the third one right now as we speak. So I'm going to click on this. Let's rename this a little bit. Let's shove all this junk over here a little bit. I don't want this to say number. We need to get more specific now. In this one, this is uh, percent uh, H2O and the next one we're gonna let's go ahead and copy and no I don't need to copy the label I want to copy this stuff so copy and paste bada bing now this is not going to be percent water this is units of energy so this is going to be how many items have greater than or equal to uh, this much energy and let's say and scooch this down a little bit copy and paste the label now we're gonna say and greater than or equal to this many units of energy so it's pretty clear what we're doing and then the answer we'll make right here and we'll make it pretty big this is a label okay now let's name this text box first one was called TB num let's just call this one TB for text box uh, energy so we'll know which one it is and this is SB energy <clears throat> now let's go ahead and copy some of the other stuff from the the spin buttons here mm, yeah okay so we have a spin button called SB num that has a spin down and a spin up event both and it affects TB num. Do you see a pattern here? Num 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 num. So uh, we can just actually copy and paste and then do a find and replace with the word energy instead of the word num and bada bing, we're in business. So and then we'll change this uh alright, we don't have TB text for that. So we just have these three. We're gonna copy them that's the spin button so spinning it up meaning clicking the up button uh, or clicking down takes away one clicking up puts one on and the change event um, is whenever you manually would type in a number like 28 or, or whatever so let's copy this control C 
and control V. Let's make a little space so it's pretty clear where this separator is. So we're going to take all that, control F for fine, go to replace. We do want the selected text only. We don't want to replace all this stuff in the workbook or anything. We're going to find what the letters N U M. Replace with what? We're going to replace it with the word energy because it just so happens that it's all set up. The spin buttons are named the same thing as the text boxes. SB num and TB num. And now, so it's SB energy and TB energy. So replace all in the selected area. Bada bing. So now we have code for our new spin button. So let's just test that really quick. Now uh, I'm going to save the workbook. Um, one thing is the formula might not be right exactly because it's not taking into account the units of energy. It's thinking that this um, and this are the same in the function. So we need to immediately go and edit that, the change event for these. So me.lbl count if equals application.worksheetfunction.countif. So we want to change that right off the bat to count ifs. And let's see here. Uh, so when you have count ifs, you have uh, argument one is a range. So here's the range that we need is the, let's do, let's hit space a few times. So we can actually copy and paste this stuff here. Um, and then put a comma because here's what we want. We already have a range and a criteria. Now we just want another, we want to have the original range and the criteria, the second part. Why? Because that was the energy list. The first part is the percent, whatever it was, P E R C percent water, I believe is the range. Um, and we want it to be greater than or equal to and which text box did we want that to analyze? Let's see. Me dot TB, uh, well, TB num. We didn't rename that to TB water, but it's the original one. Then, comma, and then, so I'll hit, I'll hit comma. So it shows where we are. Argument three is another range, and four would be the criteria, and so on for a gazillion times. So we have, uh, energy list and this is actually going to be uh, did I do that backwards? I may have done that backwards. Uh, dang it. Let's take a look. Uh, TB num is, is water and uh, okay let me go back. So we got percent water and TB num is fine. Then the other one is energy list. And the text box is called me.tb energy now. So that's right, greater than or equal to whatever's in that text box. Um, so that's interesting. Um, hmm. Okay, so let's try it out. Oh, one other thing, I wanna copy and paste this line because we have another change event that we need to do the exact same formula. TB num change and TB energy change. So whenever this one, the other text box changes, we want the same label to rethink itself. Let's see if we did the function right, shall we? Let's go ahead and open up our user form. So they both start at a zero and no change event has been initiated. Let's change this to one. So there is one, no, there's, excuse me, there's 49 of these suckers that uh, not only have greater than or equal to 1% water, they also, and, but they also have greater than or equal to 0, well that's too easy. Let's do what we did a minute ago, 30 here, and percent of water has to be, what do we say, 90? Ooh, oh it's right there, yeah, 90 and 20. So 90 and 20 units of energy or greater. There's 20 of those results. As I go up a little bit, you see that it changes. If I go down on the percent of water, we have a lot more. Um, looks like when you go from 84 to 85 percent water, 
with with 22 units of energy that is if you go to 85 there's actually 29 and actually it's just not a big huge jump oh here we go from 87 percent water to 88 percent water you just dropped four different results so that tells me that there are four results that have um, 87 or uh, greater all right I don't know what I'm saying I'm getting tired hey you know what I just stopped watching Star Trek just for you guys so check that out so and I also just had a huge cup of coffee so you'll have to forgive me if I'm a little bit hyped up on Mountain Dew uh, coffee stuff alright guys there's your label you can even make that a little bit bigger let's do that let's go to font where is font there we go let's uh, go to like 20 see how that let's see how that fares f5 um, that looks pretty good so you got your spin buttons and you have your result this is how many things uh, so, so yeah that's count ifs again you can have multiple criteria and you can see how many of these things um, how many results you have so yeah that's how that works and uh, you combine that with some or excuse me some if and you can use the same fields to update a sum if or some ifs thing so you could have your the count or number of results is eight, 18 results and the sum of those things that have this much of this and this much of that the sum of those is th this amount so it's 18 results the total dollar amount for whatever is uh, four thousand nine hundred eighty one dollars and you click a little up button and it says oh now there's only seventeen results and the sum of those seventeen results is four thousand one hundred dollars or whatever so very powerful that's count ifs next we're going to talk about some some if some ifs and we might even get into a little bit of some product which is the ultimate super duper like superman um uh, function so it's extremely powerful also after we get into this we're going to talk about how to utilize all this good stuff in report writing why is report writing important well because all this data means really kind of means nothing uh, until you can generate an amazing report we're going to show you how to automate reports to where people you know really feel like they're using a real program okay we're going to start writing real programs um, and that's going to be an exciting series for me because I love to teach. I love to see people uh, get back with me and say, "Hey, Dan, I got a raise because of you. I got two raises because of your lessons." You know what? It brings a huge smile to my face every time I hear that. And believe me, I've been hearing it. So keep studying, guys. Well, it's not even studying. Keep playing. You know, just play around with the workbook and everything. Have fun with it. Um, it will absolutely bless you and enhance your life to learn how to do codes with this stuff so you need to keep on keeping on count ifs form so what I'm doing now I'm just adding uh, another uh, form opener I'm gonna assign that macro um, that I just kind of copied and pasted so when you when you do that it opens up our new exciting um, user form here let's go ahead and make the background color a little bit more interesting it's not do I'm not doing a whole lot to it but change the back color let's go to the palette and let's do what do we got here let's do some light tan or so, or ooh, no nope, not good how about that that is that peachy enough for everybody all right hey thanks for watching and God bless oh uh, be sure to tune in uh, this uh, next coming lessons are going to be more on the some, some if, some ifs series. So you're going to want to see that. Check out um, the basic series if you haven't seen it before. Um, definitely subscribe or like or give me a comment or two if this helped you. Um, if it didn't help you, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm doing my best. Like I said, I just stopped watching Star Trek Generations just for you guys. That's how much I love you guys. All right. Hey, take it easy. Thanks for watching. God bless.